I don't care. It's one nil. We're fucking down. Thirteenth in the championship. The takeover happened, as I said it would. People will be. Oh, when when have we got leads? Now then, people, welcome back to the Just Joe Football Show, and it's time for your Leeds versus QPR post-match chat. Leeds United dominated and ran out 1-0 winners. I know a lot of people want us to be free scoring and stuff all the time, but sometimes it just doesn't work like that. We dominated the first half. We let QPR into it. We didn't have loads of chances. Clear cut anyway. Somerville in the first half. Strauk in the second half. Yeah, on another day we score. But I, to be honest, I think 1-0... Yeah, like, it is what it is. It's all about the points. Points win your prizes. Leeds United are in six. Ten games played. We're decently placed. Leicester keep winning. Forget the league. Second, can we draw Rip Switch back in? We need to keep winning. We've got Bristol City at the weekend. Hopefully, we can get three points there. Um, Look, performance-wise, Anthony Gray, uh, I thought... Rodon and Strauch look rocks. We never looked like we are going to be bothered. QPR had like two shots on target. There was that one moment at the end. Lyndon Dykes. Melier makes a good save. We've got options off the bench that are only going to get stronger after Saturday, after the international break. Spence is going to be starting right back. I was having arguments at half-time with people because they were lambasting Ailing. Yeah, his touches going forward sometimes, foul throws, etc. But there's no one else. Stra you know... Shackleton wasn't even on the bench, and to be honest, Ailing's probably better of the two. You know, when Spence comes back, it'll be a different story. Just relax. That's the way I see it anyway. Creswell came on as well at the end instead of Cooper, which says a lot. Uh, I thought he might have made that change a little bit earlier because it did look like they were just going to pepper us. Gareth Ainsworth, not a great manager. QPR, not a great team. But context, they're actually 10th in the league for away form. They're actually better away from home than they are at home. So a 1-0 win isn't that bad, uh, all told, to be honest. It came early. Great. I mean, there was a bit of confusion down the right-hand side. Then Rutter picks it up, squares it. Somerville can't miss, really. I don't know how he missed the later chance earlier on. But listen, when one, one went in, I thought we would run away with it. But it wasn't to be, and that's fine. Uh, three points is all that matters. That is all that matters. And we move on to Bristol City. I think Bristol City will come with more of a game plan and want to come out and play and that probably better suit Leeds United. But look, it was a team that's dogged. We're going to defend the, you know, a back five and and and, and did pack out the box, etc. So the fact that we unlocked it, the fact that we get three points, we score a goal, that's enough for me. Melia didn't have much to do and when called upon, he did really well. But Byron, again, great. Jaden Anthony for me, as I say, he's just starting now. We have options off the bench. Bamford and James came on. Bamford pissed me off, if I'm honest, because when he had that free kick, when they hadn't even... I don't think we had a shot at goal once Begovic got sent off. Like, what were we playing at? Why he was on that free kick anyway? It became that seniority complex again. I'm having the ball. You are not a free kick taker. When have you ever scored a free kick for Leeds United? It needed a right footer, and it needed to go in each cor either corner. He's not a goalkeeper, and you hit it straight at the wall. Divvy. I'm lucky, if I'm honest, I, don't... I think he died. <laughs> QPR fans will be losing their head because what's happened there is Azmir Begovic gets a red card. I think he gets three games because it's straight red. Maybe it's just one. I don't know. Maybe the rules have changed. I don't actually know. Um, but, yeah, um, he dived, I think. But listen, the, he didn't even do out anyway. Nothing changes. I know QPR fans are going to be frustrated and fuming and everyone dislikes Bamford. Even some Leeds fans dislike Bamford. But it doesn't change the complexion of the game. Yes, you finished with 10 men, but Leeds didn't even register a shot after he'd gone off anyway. So it's irrelevant. Um, it was, yeah, I, I mean, first half we scored 10 minutes. Some of them, I think, oh, we're going to smash these 4 5 nil. Wasn't to be the case in the second half, man. I, do you know what I mean? I might as well be... Pulling teeth, it weren't great, it weren't a great spectacle, but all that matters is three points. And Leeds United have picked them up now, we're in six in the table. Look ahead to Bristol City, nothing much more I can say is that that's your starting 11. It's a strong starting 11. The only change you make is obviously when um Spence comes back into the side. Where does Nonto fit in? If he doesn't come straight in, he's going to be an option off the bench anyway. But Spence is the one, Spence comes in at right back. That back four for me is different gravy. Just got to keep plugging away and hope that Ipswich and Leicester drop points because they don't look like they're going to at the minute. But as long as we keep them honest and continue to win games of football, then we'll be all right. And we've got to do that. Um, 
listen, it's a short post match, but there's nothing more else to say on it. It was just one of them games. It's meh. But if you could like the video, subscribe to the channel, get your comments in, hit the notification bell. I'll get some watch along highlights up, and I'll see you in a bit. Peace out. Please, please, please.